guys. Today we're gonna to be working on the chicken coop a little bit, trying to get that ready so that way this spring we can get chickens. Um, we're gonna be looking to do meat and egg chickens. So today we're gonna to be working on the nesting boxes that go on the side of the chicken coop. Brian's um, kind of working a little bit on how he had that laid out. We kind of changed plans after construction started. So we're gonna be going down there and seeing what we can do to kind of change gears and fiddle a few more chickens in our nesting boxes. So let's come on down and take a look. All right, so here we are down at the chicken coop. And I uh, already got it kind of started and we're gonna kind of try to work on it a little bit. And if you can see over here, so we got a nesting box over here on the side and we thought we we're gonna kind of try to uh, get some more chickens since we got a big old house here. Um, so we're gonna actually tier this. So we're gonna put a separate nesting box on the bottom, cut this out and move it on top. And then we'll put shingles on there as well and finish walling it up and we should be good, ready to go uh, for the spring. And then we're gonna leave um, just an open vent at the top. Instead of putting uh, fascia up across the top, we're just gonna leave a little vent uh, get some more airflow in through there and we'll cut out some windows and put on um, some hardware cloth to keep out predators uh, and keep them nice and secure when they're up in there. We're going to throw a little ramp down here and then this whole area, pretty wide area, will be fenced in with uh, chicken wire and we'll see if that keeps enough predators out. If we end up losing any, we'll probably then build off of here onto maybe about, you know, out to the bottom of the ramp, give them a couple feet, and do a completely enclosed um, top all the way down area with chicken wire just to keep them safe while they're outside when we're not directly here. But other than that, the post down here, we just put them right into the ground. We didn't even bother putting any gravel or anything. Just treated lumber right down in there, four by fours. Um, and then box this up and it's just sitting on there. We'll put in some uh, lag bolts through here and then that'll be about it. Alright, so what we're trying to do today is take this nesting box off. I said to put an, another one beneath it, a square or flat one, and we'll, this, the pitched roof will still sit on top of that. And I screwed it to this post, but unfortunately I glued it down to the floor, so we'll see if we can get that off the floor, but that may or may not happen. This may end up being a catastrophe. Either way, it'll look good. <laughs> All right, I don't know what to do now. Maybe not. Ah, well, luckily I did a absolute horrible job. I must have been drunk or something. Whenever you would glue something down, you need to make sure you spread it around the area. Otherwise, you see what happened. See right there? That little piece down dribbled through here. All I did, I, did I really do that? That's really what I did. All I did was just squeeze the tube out through there, which basically essentially did nothing. As you can see, it's only holding, was holding through there. So luckily I screwed up and was an idiot. Feel free to comment and tell me how I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm 
can learn how to make cuts right the first time. I'm um, just gotta shave a little bit off to get it to fit in there. It just was like an eighth, probably not even an eighth of an inch too long. Um, so all I'm doing right now is I'm just uh, using a trim nailer. Um, they're not galvanized, so I mean they're not really going to be long term to hold it on. Um, I'm just kind of holding it in place, and then I'll come and drill um, later, just to, to hold it in place, and make it easier to drill uh, to screw the, the pieces together. If I was a little better with my cuts, I would have built this all in one piece, and you can definitely do that, and that's probably the easiest way to do it. But I didn't feel like it, and because I usually have to kind of jerry-rig things to get it right. I'm not the best carpenter, but I just make things work. Um, the cool thing about this chicken coop is we just made it work. The only really thing we bought other than you know the shingles was uh, a few two by fours. Um, but this one back here you can see is just from a pallet. And so if you look back at this post in the back corner, it's kind of hard to see, but um, on that I had a bunch of one by fours that I got for free. Some guy was trashing them. So I just picked up a bunch of one by fours. So I just glued them and screwed them together, <laughs> make makeshift two by fours. Uh, so this is mostly a, I mean, we bought the shingles. We had the tarp or the um, underlayment paper, the moisture barrier paper already. And we bought a few two by fours. The posts were salvaged um, from Lakin's um, job site instead of heading to the dumpster. I headed to the back of her car. Um, just trying to reuse as much as we can uh, makes a lot of the stuff affordable, especially when you're just storing chickens for eggs. It's not huge profit, so the cheaper you can make the coop, the better. Um, the plywood, when I was picking up uh, steel one day from the shop, some guy just had tons of plywood in the next bay over and loaded up the truck, and that was all free. Uh, so we're doing a lot of it for free, a lot of scrap material, just stuff we had laying around. and so. You know, scrap material and a bad hand on a saw. I just kind of jerry rig things together and make it work. Hey, so we didn't have a whole lot of time out there to get the nesting boxes completely finished. Um, we're going to do, uh, continue to do it the next day, but it snowed a lot, so we haven't been able to work with the chicken coop. But it has snowed, so we have another video that will be coming here shortly of just serenity in the woods with all the snow everywhere. So make sure to check that out. Uh, when we release that, I'll come back here and I'll put a thing up wherever it goes. And you can check that out. But I don't know when we'll be able to get back out and finish the chicken coop. Um, but when we're all done the chicken coop, I'll definitely make sure we do a full tour around the chicken coop. Because I know I've gotten a lot of great ideas from different YouTubers uh, taking tours around their chicken coops. So I'll give you guys a tour of that. And hopefully that'll spark some ideas in you guys. But for now, we're just holding out inside in the snow. And... Uh, taking a few moments to play and explore out there so look out for that video and look out for all the videos we have coming as we get into spring and summer and really gear this up uh, so make sure you like the video subscribe to see all the, the future content and uh, thank you guys for for watching and uh, being a part of this journey